Okay, the Utah Jazz lose to the Oklahoma City Thunder. This is Hanson James, and this is the SLC Dunk Post Game Show. Uh, that's the fourth time the Jazz have played the Thunder. They win the season series three to one, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know in the comments if I am, but I'm pretty sure that's the third time, and I'm or the fourth time, and I'm glad. Hopefully, the last time. I am tired of watching the Jazz play the Thunder, particular mostly because of the Thunder's defense and. You know, after playing them four times, watching them four times, kind of disrupt jazz passing lanes, I'm done. <laughs> I'm really done. The The Thunder's defense is legit, and it's going to stay good. There's no uh, quirks about it. It's not like Boston's defense where, like, they have this abnormally high rebound rate. It's that they are incredibly long and athletic on the wings. And then behind them, they have Steven Adams, who is a good defender, so... That uh, that Thunder defense is good and it's going to stay good until the playoffs. And I th honestly, I don't. I think people are sleeping on the Thunder right now. They're I think they're eighteen and fifteen now. They have three Hall of Famers, and around those three Hall of Famers, they have nice role players. Robertson is an incredible defender. They have just some other players that are nice shooters, like Abrinas. Uh, it's just a nice team, and Stephen Adams is a very very good NBA center, high level NBA center. So. The Thunder are very good, especially defensively, I think, which I think is one of the surprises of the NBA season for any team because I think I don't know what we thought they would be offensively. I thought the I think everyone thought they would be better than they are, but no, I don't think anyone expected the de defense to be this good. And that's why I think that's what I think we're learning the value of Paul George. His defense is as good as it's ever been, and it's how Indiana would go so deep in the playoffs before, and it's why they're going to go. The Thunder are going to go surprisingly far in the playoffs this year. Paul George's defense is really good. It was disrupting the Jazz tonight. It seemed like he had a hand on every ball or he got that like that steal against Joe Ingles and he goes and gets two points. I mean, that's two points. You just Those types of points are just so hard to get and Paul George creates it and he's good. He is an elite defender and he's showing it and it's a reason why the Thunder are good now and are going to be good in the playoffs. You know, and offensively, I think they'll be fine. I actually liked what I saw from Carmelo tonight. I mean, if he's being relegated to a spot-up shooter, that's he's good at that. That's for sure, because tonight he was pretty good. Uh, just out of curiosity, let's see. Uh, Carmelo Anthony, 16 points. Huh, 6 for 18, so never mind. Maybe not. But when uh, – <laughs> sometimes live you get those things kind of uh, thwarted. But honestly, at the beginning of the game, he was a spot-up shooter receiving passes and hitting shots. And I think the more he can just be that spot-up shooter, I think – I don't know if it's because he's just older or if maybe he's never been quite that good. I, I'm, you know, recency bias maybe. But uh, Carmelo Anthony, if he can just receive passes and shoot and be a spot-up shooter for the Thunder, I think he helps them – much more than if he's trying to create and do his ISO jab step game that just kills them. You know, the more he can do that, the better. Uh, spot up shooting, that is. Not the jab step, uh, lose you the game stuff. Uh, but that's all I want to say about the Thunder. They're going to be really solid defensively. I think they're going to be better in the playoffs than people think because their defense is incredible. When you have Paul George and uh, Robertson, guarding the lanes and the passing lanes and stuff it's no wonder the jazz had so many turnovers which was the what killed the jazz this game the turnovers were terrible um as far as the jazz uh it was so nice to see donovan come back and then he scores 29 points 75 percent from the field the guy is just electric this is becoming his team on offense and at this point what i've wanted to talk about with the jazz and we'll just talk about it for the rest of the year hopefully the jazz can get out of December with one more. I mean, they're going to be playing. I think I believe the Thunder and the Warriors still. This December has been such a tough schedule for the Jazz, and we're going to be below by 500. But come next month and then post All Star break, you're going to see a lot easier schedule. And don't be surprised to see the Jazz start rolling, and everyone get healthy, and the Jazz can still make the playoffs and make a lot of noise. Um, this is their toughest month. The Jazz did not expect to win a lot of games this month, and we'll get through this at some point. Please let December be over. Christmas needs to come and go just so I can open presents, but also so that the Jazz can get done with this month, which has been so bad. Um, I'm move this dumb lamp. Uh, so anyways, uh, 
Donovan Mitchell is an absolute superstar. He is so much fun to watch. 29 points. When that ball is in his hand, good things happen. Uh, he should have had more assists this game, but we had like two or three. I don't know what it is. Like feels like to me, and I may be off, and it just might be eye test stuff, but Joe Ingles has been a little off on his shooting, on his three-point shooting. Tonight he was one for five, and three of those were those corner shots that he normally makes, and that could have been the difference this game. Uh, Rodney Hood, who coming off a superstar game before, comes in tonight three for 14. That's the game. If Rodney shoots 50% from the field, we win this game. But he does not. And so three for 14 and we lose. Uh, and honestly, part of that is you've got to give credit to the, the Oklahoma City Thunder defense. Paul George, uh, Andre Robertson are just elite, elite defenders. And sometimes you shoot for three for 14 when you have Andre Robertson and Paul George guarding you. But if you shoot 75% and you have Paul George and Andre Robertson guarding you like Donovan Mitchell does, that means you're a superstar and should be considered for rookie of the year or should be rookie of the year. He's that good. Anyone who says otherwise is incorrect. Uh, tonight, you really saw us missing Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert is just so impactful for the Jazz. And when he gets back, it, we're going to get that defensive presence back. We'll have the offense from Donovan. And at some point this year, we should be getting Dante back. You know, I don't know when. The Jazz are not saying anything. and It's very quiet. But I would think that he comes back at some point, And that will be exciting. It will be really fun. Anyways, not a lot else to say tonight. Frustrating for the Jazz to lose. Uh, make sure you guys that you like and subscribe. Uh, let's see. Actually, we got a question real quick. Only three Jazz players were in double figures, including Donovan with 29. He deserves some support, or was it our scheme? Uh, it was the Thunder defense. It was really good. The Jazz had a lot of turnovers that didn't help, so part of it was that too. Uh, if, uh, if Ingles makes one of his corner threes that he normally makes, he has double figures, and there you go. Uh, okay, okay, so he had 15 offensive boards. You can't win like that. Yeah, I mean, we miss uh, Rudy Gobert, you know? And finally, Ingles is reluctant to shoot open threes. Oh, well, he was one for five tonight, so he took five. So I don't know. He just didn't make them, you know? If he makes two of those corner threes that he typically shoots 50 to 60% for in that corner, you know, it's a big deal. But tonight they didn't fall, and sometimes that happens, you know? Sometimes, guys, you just lose, and the other team is good, you know? That happens. Anyways, like and subscribe, guys. Go to SLC Dunk. Make sure that you read every article. Click on all the stuff. We've got a lot of cool things for you guys to read. Uh, make sure you go to SLC Dunk Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And follow that to follow everything we're doing at SLC Dunk. New 8-Bit NBA coming pretty soon. The amazing Spider Mitchell. And finally, if you want to follow me, I'm Hanson James on Twitter. Love to talk to you. Talk to you later.